Our next interview is with Petra Kovar, who is the PTL of the Documentation Project. Are you still PTL in the, in the coming site? <laughs> Last time I checked, I okay. was done. <laughs> All right. So, um, when we spoke before in Denver, there had been some big changes to the documentation project. How has the last six months gone for you? So maybe I should start by super quickly, like you know, um, saying what actually happened in Pike. Right? So in Pike, we like uh, migrated uh, uh, most of our content in in OpenStack menus, which is our core docs suite repo, to project team repos. So. Nova content will go into Nova repository, Keystone into Keystone, and etc. So basically, this uh, the theme of this cycle for Queens has been to uh, to build on that. So that means improving the doc site structure to allow for is let's say a decentralization of content. Updating our process docs to make sure that we know our, our new people, you know, let's say getting started with documentation, know what's going on, what are the new processes. Let's say they are setting up uh, documentation for the new project. We now have that covered. So uh, that's uh, that's on the process side and. Um, basically, what we realized uh, after doing this migration was that. Uh, when you migrate content to individual repos, uh, there is a cost that you have to pay in terms of consistency. Because obviously if you have all the content in one repo and um, a team of writers take care of the content uh, from release to release, it's easier to maintain consistent structure, architecture of the content, uh, findability and stuff like that. So with the, with the new approach when the project teams per, can pretty much do whatever they want uh, in terms of managing their, their, their own content. Uh, we thought it would be a good idea to create uh, like governance tags that, that projects could apply for and use for each release. An example of such a tag would be, for example, a uh, tag that uh, identifies projects with tested installation procedures or projects that are conforming to the recommended doc uh, content structure in terms of having uh, docs for admins, users, configuration reference, stuff like that. This will also allow you know, projects to use like badges you know, on their side, pages saying, okay, this page is actually uh, tested or this, this site confirms to what the documentation project recommends. So yeah, that's for the consistency. And how are projects doing? And I mean, you know, you say some projects are doing whatever they want. Or overall, has it been has it been a, a good move? So yeah, constantly seeking you know feedback from more and more projects. But I was happy to see that you know some people actually uh, during the first two days of uh, this PTG came to just share you know feedback with us. Uh, for example. They are looking for uh, for guidance on not only how to structure the the the, the, the repo, uh, let's say uh, uh, directories and files within them, but also how to uh, design the front or landing pages for each category of content they have they now have in, in project repos. So let's say uh, they are looking for something like maybe like a template. Uh, to use when designing their front page, let's say for CLI uh, reference or for admin admin content. So this is something that we would like to work on during this sort of cycle. Uh, again, it will be you know um, based. It will be up to the projects whether they want to use it or whether they want to take another approach. But we, I believe, we should have that you know uh, guidance material ready for them to use. So your goal is to have each project have roughly the same layout in their in their documentation. I believe that they improve the findability of yeah. content. You know, it's predictable, uh, and when users switch from context, like when they they go from Nova to Keystone, let's say, uh, they know you know what to expect. So we would like to work on that with the teams. I know that uh, the internationalization is closely connected to your project. Um, 
Can, can you give me some idea how that effort is going as well? So there's some work being done on uh, getting the project those translated because historically we've been focusing on open stack manuals and uh, similar uh, docs repos, like let's say security guide. And most of this content has been translated into many languages, but now we need to uh, expand the scope of uh, translatable content. So that's probably the, the the, the, the most important change that has been worked on. Oh, okay. And I saw a call on the mailing list what, last week for uh, translation of, of release notes as well. So it's, uh, yeah, that's that's that's, that's, that's a part of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for that update, and uh, we look forward to speaking with you six months from now. Thank you. Thank you very much.